Hey everyone, this is Prince Brightstar, and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online 2. And welcome to the first affiliate stream for the channel as well here. Yeah, this is the first time we started here. No technical issues as we were trying to get online here. Yeah, uh, there actually was a little bit of a glitch here, but we've taken care of that here. And we are now going at this point here. So, uh, basically today is all going to be about... Uh, preparing for the it well, and depending upon how quickly we clear through all that today, uh, potentially we might also hop into something else. But let's get there when we get there. For the moment, we are currently in Tokyo here in Fantasy Star Online 2, and part of the preparation of all this means I need to go and clear a bunch of client orders here. And one of those has us here in Tokyo. We need to defeat one more T-Rex, so let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Yeah, as for uh, what caused that little glitch there, I was trying to prepare to do something kind of special for everyone, um, but I realized uh, <laughs> just a moment ago that that was also what was causing the, uh, the, the duplicated audio, so took care of that. We're good to go now. Alright, so we got those zombies taken care of. Let's move on to where the T-Rex is. And here they are. Let's take them out. And that clears the client order. With that done, let's get out of here. And so here we are back on the Ark ship. And aside from that, there are a few other things that we need to take care of here today. Uh, one of those is going to be clearing uh, some additional client orders for... Uh, daily orders actually here for the daily boost. I want to make sure that we get that all taken care of here uh, Before we really get into kind of the final preparation of all this here um, And once that is all set then we'll be able to kind of knock out a bunch of other stuff that I've got here uh, Largely in preparation like I said of uh, the it class which is going to be releasing next week and in order to do some of that, let's head over to the Skyscape area. Since we need to take out some Dragonkin. As of right now, I'm not interested in using any boosts, except to pause the timers, since we don't need those at this point. But the basic idea of today is we are simply going to be clearing client orders. Uh, I'm going to be kind of doing a final check to make sure we've got all the gear that we're going to need. As well as just make sure that... Basically, uh... Just make sure we're basically ready to go here. Because once this happens... Uh, everybody's going to be leveling up the Toil class uh, pretty quickly here. Nice, we cleared that uh, very quickly here. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, just to kind of give you an idea, the Etoa class, um, for lack of a better word, is it's essentially a space paladin. Um, it's going to be one of the first classes in the game that really kind of serves the role more of support than anything else. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, plays out here. Hang around and take out the rest of these dragonkin here real quick. There we go. That completes that daily order. Let me just check what else we have. That's fine. Hit me if you want. The damage they do is uh, so negligible that it'll, it'll just heal right back up there. Yeah, we just have to uh, complete Skyscape exploration at this point. So, 
In order to do that, let's take out some more Dragonkin here, because we do need to make sure that we at least get a uh, high enough rank on this. And the rain is really coming down out here. Let's try moving into the uh, next area here, uh, once we take care of these uh, Baradran. Up we go! Oza, uh, you need a hand here, huh? As you can tell by the uh, little experience bar there next to my level, I will be uh, completing another level very soon. Cougar at X, what are you doing here from Border Break? Alright, come on down. Finishes you off. Completed. We should be getting to the point where we're going to have all the, uh, uh, pretty much everything that we're going to need, basically, here. Bear with me for one second, I'm just making one quick adjustment here, there we go, okay. Just want to make sure I've got my, uh, my actual stream manager up here. Oh, looks like we got some dragon can eggs around here. But I think we're already at the point where we can go ahead and finish this up, actually. Let's see, where is the exit? That looks like that might, uh, might be it over there. And indeed, that is the case. Alright, so with that done, let's take on the Quartz Dragon, and let's get out of here. Quick Imperial Cleave will take care of ya. And down you go. Doesn't seem like anything dropped. Let's make our way back up to the camp ship. Okay, so what item did we just get? Uh, Lambda Grinder. There it is. Okay. Great. So, up next. That clears up three of the client orders we needed to take care of. Let's now make our way into the forest area. Let's take care of that Fang Banshee.
as well as take care of the Garangu if we can find them along the way. I don't like this map. It feels like it's going to try to troll me if I head to the upper left there. Like I guessed correctly, we did not want to head to the northwest. Instead, we wanted to head back to the east to make our way to the north to actually get out of here. So, yeah. Uh, that's one of the uh, little tricks you gotta watch out for in areas like this. Anyway, let's make our way further into the forest. Let's see if we can find those Garongo. If not, we'll make our way over to where the Fang Banshee is and take them out. Yeah, as I was saying before, the uh, it well is uh, basically the idea of a space paladin, a uh, class that uh, is not really able to use any techniques, although there are workarounds for that. Uh, but the other thing is that it is uh, basically sort of a buffer for the class, uh, or rather for all the all the other uh, players in the area. There we go. That takes care of the Garongo. So now we can just make our way over to where the boss area is. Uh, so the uh, the Etoile uh, class uses three different weapon types. It uses the Double Saber, it uses Dual Sabers, which are two different things in this game, and then lastly it uses Wands as well. So, uh, it'll be nice to see how all that plays out. The idea of this stream here is I wanted to prepare for the launch of the class, because once we get going with it, we're going to be essentially dropping in uh, a bunch of experience really quickly uh, to uh, level up. And part of that basically means you want to get a bunch of client orders all finished up, and ready to hand in so that way when the class launches you can just uh, start grabbing those and handing them in. Now we're not going to do that necessarily immediately uh, since we do also need to kind of understand how the class plays and from what I've seen it's a bit more floaty than other classes out there. But we'll have to see how it actually plays. Uh, I'll be interested to see what different kind of uh, uh, invisibility frames it's going to have, uh, as well as just how quickly some of its abilities regenerate. And part of the reason for that is the Etoile, um, from what I understand, does not have access to Automate, which is one of the things that the Hunter class has, which I rely on quite a bit. So, we'll see how things actually play out. I don't know if I'm going to be switching or not. Uh, the lack of Automate, of course, is a, uh, a huge detriment already, uh, in my view. But, we'll see how it ends up here. It does have one other regenerative ability, uh, which does uh, allow it to kind of uh, become kind of stronger, have more healing than other classes do have. So, we'll see how that all plays out. By the way, that was a Bantha Donna, which is a different, uh, it's the rare version of the Fang Banshee. So, let's go ahead and grab up uh, one of those Nazan drops. I guess we'll also grab that as well. Alright, let's make our way back up to the camp ship. And with that, let's make our way back over to the lobby. Wait, wait, wait. 
So, let's hand in these client orders. And so that now leaves us with two of them already completed, ready to hand in once that comes in next week. And then we got three more to uh, take care of, although there's not, there really isn't necessarily a rush to complete those here. What I do want to get through are some of these other client orders here. And in fact, let me pop this open. Because you can see that I've completed actually uh, a number of them already here. And what I want to do is I want to get myself up to the maximum number. And basically use those as kind of the launching point for the experience that we're going to be dumping into the new class. Now, that isn't everything that we're going to be dumping in. Uh, let's collect on these ARCS missions real quick here. That just gave us a level cap boost. But aside from all that, if we go under the uh, items over here, of course I've got plenty of experience uh, boosters that I'll be using uh, to get that leveled up. I've got tri-boosters uh, waiting to go. I've got even more experience than tri-boosters ready. And even more. I'm kind of surprised that these didn't end up in the same spot, actually. And then, if we come all the way down here... I also have these experience tickets, which are going to give me quite the boost here uh, in terms of the experience that I can dump in. This is going to give me around 8 million experience um, through just these alone, and then this might give me close to another million. And then we have all these down here, which will give me another 50 million experience. So those will all get dumped in. Uh, that will clear about a fourth of the experience we're going to need to get to get to max level. And then I have a bunch of these bonus keys as well, which, as you can probably tell, these are expired. But don't worry about that, because a lot of these, you can actually hand them in thanks to a recent change that was made in-game, which basically allows you to recycle them. So, basically, you would take five of these keys, which have expired, and you can turn them into a Tokyo Gold Key. And doing all that will give us quite the boost in terms of the initial starting experience. Now, it still remains to be seen if the new Itoil uh, class representative, who's going to be standing right over here, if they are going to need us to complete certain client orders in order to get up to max level. That's going to include uh, if we need to get all 10 of the uh, over levels at level 75 uh, to get the class cubes in order to actually unlock the rest of them. Hey Silverberg, thanks for joining today. Uh, now, in terms of other client orders here, I do have a couple ready right here. Uh, all these I want to try to get through today and take care of the team points, although some of these have less experience than I would prefer. Part of what we're going to be doing here as well, in order to collect uh, the experienced client orders here, is I do have several client orders I need to complete for other uh, class representatives, and when I complete those, they are actually going to give me quite a, uh, a boost to experience as well here. And the conditions for these right here, for example, with Marlu, require that I complete certain missions uh, as a force, which I have no problem doing. But when I actually hand them in, I can then switch over to the Atoil. And so that is something that we're going to be taking advantage of here today. Let's go ahead and scoop these up. The goal is basically to kind of fill myself up with anything that's going to have at least 25,000 experience, if not maybe 30,000 if possible. And then I believe Lisa has a couple of them over here as well.
And we can take one more. And actually, she has one more. So let me actually clear out a client order. That won't give us that much. Let's see. There's no guarantee I'm going to get the right uh, Devil Castle today. Is there anything lesser, though, that I can use? Okay, actually, this one will work. Uh, we'll get rid of this uh, daily order for defeating mechs. That only gives us 10,000. And with that, we can now take the last of leases here. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch our class over and start completing some of those. Uh, we'll start with the Ranger. I'll set my subclass over to Hunter. And now I need new weapons uh, to equip here. So why don't we go ahead and grab a spread needle here? That should give us uh, a pretty fun time here with uh, taking out enemies. Uh, we'll do one point. Grenade shell. Glorious rain. Whoops. And then... Satellite cannon and end the track. That should do. Actually, let's move to a different block here. Uh, we'll take it over to this one here. Alright, so let's take a look at the client orders we just got from Lisa. So for the first one, we need to take care of seabed exploration on very hard as a ranger with Lisa only. Uh, let's see. Uh, Silverberg. Uh, the uh, plan right now is I will be switching over to the English version uh, for the purposes of, uh, community building, uh, I may still be on the Japanese version, uh, to kind of go through story events first. Uh, but that's, it's still kind of all up in the air right now in terms of what the ultimate plan is going to be. I also need to see what the, um, what the initial release is going to look like for the English version, because they're, you know, I'm one of the people that's very concerned about the initial launch here. If, Everything is going to be one-to-one, -one, or if we're going to have the same disaster that we have with Fantasy Star Universe. Uh, hopefully it doesn't end up that way. Hopefully we do actually get one-to-one -one releases, but we'll have to see how it all plays out. Anyway, let's make our way into the seabed here. And let's go ahead and grab Lisa here. Let's make our way down.
Now, in terms of uh, what we're looking at for uh, this, uh, for just going through as a ranger, I'm just going to be clearing these as uh, quickly as I can here uh, for the uh, for the experience. Uh, was there a requirement for rank? Let me double check that real quick. Uh, it just says to clear on very hard. I'm actually in super hard mode right now. Uh, okay, so there isn't that kind of requirement on this one, but the rest of them I do need to S rank clear. So, in that case, let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Let's see. I think, actually, we need to head this way for the exit. Yeah, I think I see it back there. It's a little misty in the area, but that's no problem. Making our way out of here. Looks like McToy could use a hand here, actually. You measure code, attack. And actually, I think I need to clear some Falco bones here anyway. We got some kind of a drop here. Probably just gonna be like a seven star or something like that. Let's see. Did I clear the Falco Bolt one? Uh, we got two of them taken out, so. We at least did make some progress on that. Help this native of the world. There we go. I just love this spread needle. It is such a great weapon. Uh, don't have to use any photon arts to make it fire in multiple directions. It's it, it's just such a great throwback to the uh, to the original Fantasy Star Online. Still looking for some more Falco Bones here. They can sometimes be a little difficult to find, but that's just kind of how things are in this game. If you're looking for something specific, unless there's actually like a time attack or uh, a mission that has a certain enemy as an end target, uh, you kind of have to uh, luck out with the RNG to find the enemy you're looking for. exit to the area, so I guess let's turn back for a moment here and continue to look for those Falco Bones. Or am I going to be back here real quick? Let's see. Oh, actually, we will be back here again. Uh, so, uh, when we come back here as a, uh, as a force. So, actually, let's go ahead and uh, get out of the area then, in that case. 
Hey, Rix, thanks for joining today. So, uh, gameplay uh, hasn't really changed that much. What I would say is that uh, a lot of the delays that there used to be um, with weapon swings and things like that, those have improved uh, since the launch of the game. And uh, thank you for checking out the uh, the original Let's Play series as well. Let's finish off this Viol Maduna. And down they go. Alright, let's make sure we actually did clear the client order. There we go, we did get the clear. And let's move on to the next one. That's going to take us to the ruins, and I need to clear it using just an assault rifle, which is what the spread needle is. Uh, that What I just did was called a Dark Blast. Uh, which basically uh, turns your character into a Dark Falls-like character uh, for about 60 seconds. Uh, it's something that you unlock once you uh, get to a certain point in Episode 5 in the story, or you manage to take care of one of the Omega Falls's um, after reaching level 75. It's much faster to uh, just get through the story, though. You can get the first form after about 30 to 45 minutes uh, on a brand new character, which uh, I proved um, a couple of weeks ago when I created a brand new account. Yeah, exactly, Rooks. Uh, that's, uh, that's exactly uh, what it is, essentially. Uh, it's actually made some of the uh, tower defense missions a lot easier than they used to be just uh, by the fact that uh, you essentially have that extra quote-unquote AIS button when uh, you don't need to collect extra points. Granted, most players probably don't have trouble completing the tower defense quests these days, although I would be interested in actually seeing an ultra tower defense at the same time at some point. I don't know if it'll actually be possible to do that, though, uh, from a story perspective. Uh, but those, uh, those tower defense quests are actually one of the best ways to gain experience in, uh, in my mind. Uh, that combined with, uh, amazingly buster quests as well, just because of how quickly you have enemies coming against you and the high rate of experience that they give in the first place. Yeah, that was just one of the, uh, one of the forms that you can have, uh, with Dark Blast. There are actually, uh, three other forms. I'll show you one of the, uh, one of the other ones. Uh, as we get to the end of this mission here. Fortunately, I did not catch up to those Darkers in time. Oh well. Now, in this particular case, I am defeating uh, everything that I can since the requirement for this client order is to actually get an S rank. And again, the, the reason I'm completing all these older client orders at this point is just simply the fact that this is probably going to be one of the last new classes we get in this game for quite a while. Um, just based on the fact that 
part of the way that things have played out in the story uh, is uh, Stratos uh, had two friends. Uh, Stratos was the uh, was the uh, the person that is the class representative of the hero class, and they had two friends. Um, and so that's why the expectation is uh, that the Etoil is the last of the new classes we're going to be getting. Because this is now going to be the third person of that group, essentially. That plus we are kind of starting to get, uh, starting to get towards the end of what Sega originally had planned for this game. Uh, it had a 10-year plan. Uh, it originally released back in 2012. So we're starting to get to kind of the last few years of the of this game's uh, initial planned life. That's not to say it's not going to continue, but based on what's been coming out of the rumor mill in terms of job offerings, uh, Sega may be starting to look at, say, a Fantasy Star Online 3 or a Fantasy Star Universe 2 or something to that effect. And the fact that, uh, that sadly Dragon Sakai had, uh, kind of, uh, fallen out of favor with the, uh, with the fans of the series, um, while he's still in the background as sort of the, uh, director, or, or, or rather producer of the game, um, you don't see him much in public appearances anymore, and so this is probably going to be one of the last games of his era, essentially, which started back with the original Fantasy Star Online. It's, it's sad that the story that he's kind of been helping to tell uh, since, uh, since the turn of the century uh, probably is going to be coming to an end with this game, and I think that's probably why they're trying to wrap a lot of things up now, uh, especially with how there are just so many signs that what's going on uh, with the arcs and Shiva... Uh, seems to represent the story that was told at the beginning of Fantasy Star and the Millennium, where there were two uh, energy-based races that were uh, that were fighting each other, and one victor sacrificed the other uh, to the heavens, uh, creating the Algol Star System. Uh, and looking at kind of what happened with the Phantom class, in particular, uh, the fact that one of the when you cast a technique in that game, or, or rather a, as that class, um, you turn it into essentially just a form of energy. And I imagine that uh, characters like uh, Reface and uh, such that we see on Recross in uh, Fantasy Star and the Millennium uh, may be based on the Phantom class. Uh, and now. Uh, the early uh, data mining for the Etoile class has revealed the um, a couple of names that are actually very significant within uh, the Fantasy Star series. Uh, the name of Kira, uh, as well as uh, Foren, who, Foren, if you're not aware, was the Japanese name of Ren in Fantasy Star and the Millennium. So the fact that they are showing up and they are actually the Etoil class representative is kind of telling in terms of everything that's going on here now. So um, the, the part of that being that the uh, that four Ren is a, a play on the number four uh, as well. But it, it's there are just so many signs going on at this point that it's it's very hard to ignore it. So that's just kind of one of the things that's going through my head at this point here. Uh, I think this map has ended up to, uh, has ended up trolling me, and we actually need to head kind of back towards the entrance to actually find the exit. It's funny I managed to avoid the one that was in the forest, but not the one that was here. Uh, but we should have enough kills now to at least have the S rank, I would think. make our way to the south, and then we'll head west from here. Emergency! Code! Distraction! 
I'm not really concerned with uh, taking those out at this point here. Uh, yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Uh, Fantasy Star Universe's story definitely became uh, much better after that point. But uh, even just uh, looking back, uh, I mean, he's... Uh, Sakai has had a hand in the series ever since Fantasy Star Online, which... The fact of the matter is, if he had not... Um, I'm not sure if it was him specifically or if it was someone else, but had a, an artist not come up with the image of a dragon and presented that to you, Jinata, um, we wouldn't have had Fantasy Star Online. Uh, that game would have ended up being something else, and it was the imagery of the dragon that reminded uh, uh, Nakasan that the uh, that the Fantasy Star series existed. Um, it's a shame that uh, that Phoenix Re did not uh, join in on the efforts uh, to uh, create the uh, to get uh, create the game, but at the same time, I also understand they they felt that their role in that had finished up back uh, after completing the album story. Anyway, here's another of the dark blast forms that you can have. Let's take care of this Zestrida. There we go. Very much a brawler form. Alright, back up to the camp ship we go. And the next client order. That is going to take us to the Sanctum. Start that up on super hard. And down we go. Of course, I'll be taking out all the uh, different enemies that I can in here, because once again, we need an S rank for this. Speaking of Fantasy Star Universe, Ethan and Karen, what are you doing here today? <laughs> Completed. Let's see, was there a switch around here? Yes, there was. Oh, nice, we got a uh, Kraya double weapon from uh, Ethan there. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, track that they uh, that they did. Uh, they did a uh, they did do the uh, the remix uh, in Ambition of the Illuminus, which did kind of give it a little bit more flair. But yeah, I I kind of agree with you there as well. Just 
didn't seem to have the same impact that, say, the initial lyrics from Fantasy Star Online did. Partly because after just like one or two lines there, there were no more lyrics. Fantasy Star Universe kind of had a story of a lot more hope than what Fantasy Star Online had. Odin! <laughs> Yeah, so if you didn't know, at one point fan, uh, Final Fantasy XIV did a crossover with this game, and so that's why we still see Odin in this game from time to time. to the wrong target. And I've been frozen. Yeah, it happened uh, two or three years ago. Um... There was supposed to be a component where Fantasy Star Online 2 then crossed back into 14, uh, but sadly that never happened. Uh, part of the reason for that was the fact that Fantasy Star Online 2 was not available in the West. But, you know what, with the Western release coming now, who knows, that might come now. But that finishes off Odin. Let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like we did get some sort of a weapon here. Oh, did I just, uh... One second here. Uh, no, we're good, we're good. Uh, that is... I think it was just the, uh, the Ruins one that required that I can't change my weapon. Yeah, it was just that one. Okay. I don't think we're quite at an S rank just yet here, so I do want to hang around a little bit longer before we move into the next block. Unfortunately, the game never really made it easy for you to tell if you actually uh, do meet the conditions or not. Doesn't seem like any enemies popped up in that room there. Yeah, I guess. I've just had times where I've run um, a mission and killed everything along the way, and it still didn't give me an S rank. I only got a, I only got an A rank. Uh, but we do have a Garanzaron here, which I believe was a target I was looking for. So let's take it out. And clearing this emergency trial should also help with this. Rappy, 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 what are you doing here? All decked out in your Christmas getup there. <laughs> Completed. 
Yes, indeed, I did need the Garans Ron. Okay. Let's take care of this Dark Chime. And I think this is going to lead us to the exit. Indeed, there it is. And let's make our way through. Emergency code eliminate. And all that's left now is the Dragon X. Pop our Photon Blast. And we'll go ahead and pop our Dark Blast as well. And let's make our way back up to the camp ship. He kind of does, yeah. Um, but there are there are two other forms as well. One is uh, very toy-like. The other is uh, insect-like. Uh, let's see, so the last one looks like it's going to be Coast Exploration, so let's go ahead and get that going here. Again, the reason I'm running all these right now is because they offer a higher rate of experience than a lot of other client orders do. And I want to be able to dump all that into the Atoll class once that releases next week. And it looks like I had a bunch of other client orders here as well. But yeah, the, uh, the Spread Needle is just such a great mobbing weapon. Uh, the fact that it basically casts the Conal AoE uh, across an area with just a, a normal attack. Uh, you don't have to use any uh, any kind of uh, Photon Art to get that effect uh, once you get it grinded up. Uh, if there's any, uh, any kind of Crest weapon I would recommend anybody get, it's definitely this one. Um... You can, of course, have, uh, like, your, uh, your Lightstream rifle and such if you want to have uh, a 15-star weapon, but just for uh, clearing out normal enemies as you're making your way to different bosses, uh, this is definitely one I would recommend for Rangers. Uh, not sure I follow there, Rooks. Uh, what, what do you mean become a, a bit more... Literal. Do you mean the uh, the fact that Etoile translates to star? Uh, we will see. I The thing that's kind of holding me back is the fact that, once again, this is a class that does not have access... Uh, to any kind of automate function, which is something I rely on all the time. Uh, but we will see. Uh, if the class uh, plays well enough and I can get used to the invisibility frames, 
Uh, I might still make the jump over to it. But, uh, but again, we, we kind of have to see here. I mean, that plus the fact that I'm kind of already kind of literal here. Um, so I don't know how much more literal I can become. Uh, let's clear out the rest of these here so I can show you. Uh, the uh, the unit set I've got on is actually called the uh, the Bright Star Type Zero. So that that also kind of uh, goes towards me being kind of uh, kind of literal already here. <laughs> Alright, we got an Org Glan. I think that was a target I needed to clear. I really don't see a point in doing the uh, capture here. Let's just take this out. Yep, there we go. Had to take care of uh, an org blend for client order. Uh, actually, Rooks, if you can uh, give me a hand with something after we're done here, uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, there is a client order I've been meaning to complete, uh, I just haven't had a chance to. Uh, would you be able to uh, join in on that? And uh, if anybody else wants to join in uh, on ship 2, um, I'm more than happy to bring you along as long as you can uh, get into the, uh, into the ultra hard uh, Traces of Darkness. That's fine, that's fine. Um, uh, we can uh, we can communicate through chat as normal. Let's make our way over to the next block. And we should be all set to take on the Balrodos. Missed the shot. Oh well.
There we go. Got it that time. Let's finish him off. Alright, so that should clear up all the client orders we had to take care of for Lisa. Let's make our way back out to the Ark ship. And I'm gonna go ahead and change my class back over to Hunter. With the Phantom subclass. And let's get everything re-equipped here. Now, I actually do need to uh, grab the client order, so let me get rid of one of the other ones. I'll get rid of the sword trading one. That one's going to be really nice, because that's going to give me 80,000 experience there. Alright, and uh, Rooks, uh, let me know when you are here, and uh, if anybody else wants to join uh, for an Ultra Traces of Darkness run, uh, just let me know in the chat and we'll uh, get you in here. Uh, I'm over in uh, block 34 right now, Rooks. While I'm waiting here, let's uh, just uh, clear up some of the uh, some of the stuff we got here. All right, Cynthia. Uh, yeah, uh, hop on over. There's Rooks. Let's bring uh, the in once they're over here. I wasn't even watching the time here. <laughs> I guess we'll hop into that uh, once uh, once this is done then. I don't think it'll take that long. We got 15 minutes to do this. Just looking at other uh, things I need to complete here today. Uh, we do need to complete an advanced quest at some point. Unfortunately, I don't have anything I can just dump into the recycle shop right now. Alrighty. Alright, cool. Uh, so I believe we are all set to go here. So, let's do Time Attack Quest. Uh, unless anybody else uh, wants to uh, join in for this here. Uh, let's do this on Ultra Hard. I'll leave it, uh, I'll leave it open for, uh, for a few seconds if you want to join in.
Now, if I look at the client order here, the conditions for completing the complex photonart expansion test number two, we just need to clear it. It doesn't look like there is a requirement of getting like an S rank or anything like that. So uh, I think in this particular case, I'm going to err on the side of caution here. I'll go with a D band rank instead and see what other special abilities I can get from weapons. Uh, let's refill Dimates. And I guess, why don't we go ahead and uh, grab one other character here. Just so we can use them as uh, a meat shield. Uh, since it doesn't look like anybody else is going to join up here. All right, let's get this going. Nice, Artemis. Uh, how how's it looking so far there? Uh, let's start with the uh, left path there. Seems to be doing uh, pretty well so far. Again, I'm not too concerned if uh, Toro goes down here since they're just an NPC. But it's easier to just use them as a meat shield. Nice, we uh, need to clear the Coleman a little bit anyway. There goes the second one. That just leaves the Ringada here. Your weak spot is open again.
Yeah, part of the reason I wanted to get a little help with this was just the fact that these guys, uh, as, uh, ultralized enemies, just take forever to take down. So it's just to add in a little extra damage, basically. Open again. And that finishes them off. Moving on to the middle area now. There's the little guy, let's take him down. And that just leaves the right area left. And we got a couple of Lagada as well as the Golshrida. But all this is nothing compared to the last area. Because one of the long, uh, long the at this point, I'm going to build up my complex photon art meter for the last area. There goes the second along the. It's a shame you don't get experience from this mission. Alright, Golshrida is flipped over.
Timber. And down they go. All right, on to the last area. And this is basically an all-out brawl against a bunch of falls. Let's pop our Photon Blast. And if I can line this up, the Imperial Fleet. Nice! Got both of them. Let's go Hunar form. Sheesh, that's a lot of incoming damage. Now, what I will say is if the Atoil has HP recovery like uh, this Hunar form does, uh, I'll feel a lot more confident about playing it and not having to worry that much about automate. Oh, nice! They added uh, a Presnia to this. Looks like I'm starting to dig into my trimates here. Let's get your back up. There goes Hunar. is into her recharge phase. <laughs> and it looks like that's it.
All right, let's make our way back up to the camp ship then. All right, and let me say uh, thank you very much to both Synthly and Rooks for joining me on that. Uh, so that uh, I could uh, take care of that uh, client order finally. Uh, let me also say that in uh, chat here. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's make our way back out to the uh, to the uh, to the Ark ship here. And what this does is basically, up until now, I've only had four stocks of the complex photon art, and this will now give me an additional stock that I can use as storage. Uh, let's see here. That's right, and now I need to go pick up the title. Actually, what, uh, what else came with that title? Oh, nice! An ability uh, success rate plus 45%. Alright, so let's hand this in. And there we go. So now I can have up to five stocks. Alright. So, let's see. I guess while the emergency uh, quest is up, let's uh, see if anybody wants to uh, continue on here. All right then, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop that open here then. And uh, if anybody wants to uh, join up as well, uh, just uh, just go ahead and hop right in. Uh, looks like we still have uh, three uh, spots for uh, additional players here. Now, once we're done here, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll start working on the Marlu uh, client orders, whereby for those I need to run with just Marlu uh, in order to clear these. Once again, uh, I'm running all these uh, client orders because of the higher experience rate that they give compared to, uh, to the other client orders out there. Think about it. I should pop out to the lobby real quick after this because uh, I think there's another uh, client order that Hans has uh, that has uh, a high experience rate on it for Lumen Mech specifically.
And if you're unaware, I do keep two uh, light stream swords on me. One is uh, the uh, light element, uh, good for dealing with darkers, while the other here is a dark element. Uh, that is good for dealing with Lumen mechs. Uh, since they are weak to dark elements. And yes, I do believe the meme is I just walked into a fence and didn't even care. That's kind of one of the advantages of uh, having Automate. I understood why the uh, AIS Exoda uh, took so much extra damage compared to other things out there. Maybe that's just how they're built or something. Yeah, let's get you back up. Uh, if I can pop the uh, Moon Atomizer. I guess not. Imperial Cleave! Alright, there we go! Let's go speak to Hans real quick, let's uh, pick up that client order, and then we'll pop right back in. There it is. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good one. That gives us 50,000 experience points. Looks like my boosts are about to run out here, so let's go ahead and refresh those. Yeah, 
And let's collect on that key we just got. Perfect. Been split up for this one. Now, if any luck, we'll get a second round of this in uh, to maximize how much, uh, how many drops we're going to get from this. Now, what I will say is, uh... Ooh, I've never seen a uh, Lumen Mac end up like this before. <laughs> uh, clip it, I guess. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, if I ever see, um... Both Darkers as well as Lumen Mechs at the same time, I'll take care of the Darkers first. And that's strictly on the, uh, fact that... Uh, my light light stream sword is slightly stronger than my uh, my dark element one is. Wanna to try to go for those gold targets if you can. Uh just because they do give you a uh a bonus point. Or the or rather they give you extra points. You have to be the first team up here though to uh actually be able to take advantage of that though.
We've got two minutes to finish this one up. And then we move on to uh, Sector 3. I'm hoping we can get one more run in, but we'll see. Good opener. Let's pop our photon blast. Let's go to town. Five seconds, it's gonna be close. And no, it looks like we're going straight into the next one. Oh well. The, the uh, only other thing that's really left here then is are we going to be able to get enough of the Lumen Mechs to finish off that uh, that client order through the second, or rather through the third mission here? That we'll find out in just a moment. The fact that we're going into the uh, AIS, though, gives me some hope, because that means we've got the external battle with all the Lumen mechs coming up here, so that should push us over. I don't know if there would have been enough if, uh, if we had the other mission here, the one where we take on the actual Lumen mech uh, cruiser boss. Here we go. And indeed there is the clear on the client order, so we're all set there.
Might as well use that since uh, there isn't going to be uh, much else reason to use it until the boss actually shows up here. And it should be refreshed by the time the boss actually pops up. I do like the fact that the auto uh, that the uh, that the targeting does change automatically for you uh, when you take out a piece on the ship. Uh, that takes care of one of the ships. And like I said, the, uh, the beam is refreshed, so we are good to go for the boss, which is going to pop up in just a second here. First we have to break the shield. From here, should be fairly easy to take him out, although I am a little bit low on health right now. Not that that really matters for this one, but still, anytime I can take out this boss without taking a death, I, I do like that. There we go, that gives us some health back. Ooh. 
I didn't even see that shot coming. They go. Alright, so I'm going to drop out of the uh, group here now, uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because uh, at this point now I need to uh, start getting things going with uh, Marlu. Uh, actually, it looks like uh, we just cleared something here, so let me go ahead and pick this up uh, real quick here. Nice, we got some Hero Crests. Uh, doesn't really do much for me at this point here. But it's nice to uh, still have even more hero quests uh, for um, for just uh, converting them into weapons and then using those weapons as fodder. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Let's go ahead and switch over to force. And at the same time, I'm going to grab... Hunter. And the reason I'm doing that is, even though I could play things as a force, honestly, I'm just more familiar with uh, with being a hunter. And the thing is that using a uh, using a uh, a subclass of hunter allows me to use certain other weapons. So I can grab a lightning espada and use that to clear Marlu's client orders instead. As strange as that may sound. Alright, now, uh, what I did want to do here, uh, before we proceed, though, is, since this is sort of my first affiliate stream here, here on Twitch, I did want to do a little something special here. And this is going to be all for, uh, for you guys here. Um, anybody that is, uh, anybody that is watching currently here, because... This is, this is just something that's really special, uh, and I wanted to uh, take advantage of the situation and uh, just do a uh, do something for all of you. Uh, or at least for some of you, rather. So, stand by for one moment, and I hope that this, uh, that this does work. Uh, bear with me. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm going to bring that back up in just a second here. Bear with me for one second. I need to uh, get something in place here. Here we go. Paste that. And, okay, we're back. Let me move this up to here. Good. And, okay. Good, we're good there. And now, if I come over to here, I'm doing something uh, on my other screen here. Just bear with me for one second. Let's do that. Let's set this to three. that. Okay, let's do this. All right. And so what we're going to be doing here is uh, for anybody that is watching right now on the stream, uh, this is going to go out randomly here, but for three of you, 
uh, I'm going to be giving you a gift uh, subscription to the channel here. So hopefully everything is working here. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see who actually uh, gets these here. All right, and it looks like they went out to Silverberg, Rooks37, and Fantasy Star. Hey, good to see you, man. Uh, and I am trying to find out why the alert did not come out, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Is that thing even working right right now? Uh, let's see here. Bear with me for one moment here. I may not be able to actually get that here, but... Uh, let's see. Does this even work at all? Uh, let me send a test along here. Yeah, so it should be working. So I'm not quite sure why it, uh, why it did not display on the stream here. Uh, maybe I need to connect something else up here. Uh, so... My apologies. That's uh, that's uh, that's still a technical issue that I gotta work out here. But uh, at least um, uh, for the three of you, uh, you've got uh, you've got a one month subscription to the channel here. So uh, I'm still working on uh, trying to figure out what I'm gonna use as uh, as a um, as an emote. Uh, but at least uh, you are uh, you've got a free month of subscription to the channel here. Uh, so with that, let's now. Uh, take a look at the Marlu client orders here. Uh, so that's going to send us first over to the seabed. Okay, now it's popping up. Uh, thank you, Silverberg, uh, for, uh, for, uh, or actually, no, I think now it's starting to come through. Uh... Yeah, now they're coming through. Okay, all right, so... Uh, let's see here. Oh, that might be the issue here. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have a, I have a general alert delay set up here, so if I back that down a bit... Yeah, that should help with uh, with getting those to pop up more uh, more frequently here, or uh, faster rather. Okay, so yeah, there we go. All right, so let us speak to Annalise over here, and we're gonna make our way over to the seabed. And let's go ahead and grab Marlu. There we go. So once again, this is uh, going to be a round of doing uh, some, uh, just basically clearing up the client orders here so that we can get all the experience points stacked up, ready to go to hand in. And Silverwood, uh, thank you uh, for the uh, 100 bits there.
And as you can see, even though I'm playing as a force right now, uh, just using the weapon I'm using here, uh, I'm still doing a good amount of damage here to the point where it really doesn't even matter here uh, that I'm using a, an inappropriate weapon for this class. Uh, and that's just the power of all class weapons. Komalula, let's take it out. Native out of their uh, little situation here. There we go. And there's one of the Falco bones we were looking for. We just need one more, I believe, to finish that up. And I think that was the last one. This should clear. Yep, there we go. Falco bone suppression is now done. So the question is, where is the exit? I think it's a little bit to the east and to the north after that. Oh, another Decol Maluda popped up. I'll pass on doing the capture, though. Let's head for the exit of this area. Like another one needs some help here. There we go. Yeah, that plant is basically trying to eat that uh that native alive. Okay, to finish this up after this group. Kyokya, what are you doing here? Looks like a dead end over there. Let's make our way back to the uh, south then. Let's try to the east instead. Last Samurai. Okay. Let's uh, try to clear through your stuff as quickly as we can here. And just do what we can to take everything out. Okay, we got a rare drop right there. All right, you're all set. Let's keep making our way over to the east, where it looks like that's probably where we need to go. And keep taking out these enemies as we make our way over so I can get some photon points back. All right, and keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's looking a little bit more uh, like where we need to go. It's such a weird name that they gave this emergency code here. Uh, 
Uh, but basically, we need to take care of the uh, jellies that are landing on the ground. Yeah, actually, I think this one is more timer-based. Let's just move on at this point. I think as long as that meter doesn't fill all the way, we're okay. Laya, what are you doing here? And Lumia, too. Yeah, here's that remix of the Fantasy Star Universe uh, theme. Oh, that's uh, that's a um, uh, Siglu Beko. That's the rare version of the Talo Beko. That's a nice thing to run into. Doesn't look like it dropped anything rare, though. Alright, let's make our way to the end here. Alright, so that Mad Jelly one, that was, uh... It just didn't seem like the meter was building when I was trying to attack. I mean, I haven't seen that one in months, uh, so I... It had definitely been a while since that one was used. All right, let's take you out, Biel Maduna. Oh, that's a shame. I can't use my uh, complex photon art uh, as a uh, as a force. Oh well. Let's do a uh, dark blast instead here then. And down you go. Alright, let's make our way back up to the camp ship. And up next, let's make our way over to the Sanctum. Zoran just dropping from nowhere there. I love this callback to the uh, to the Air Iglesia track uh, from Fantasy Star Portable to Infinity.
All right, and now we got some more of the uh, of the uh, anime characters popping up here. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of these uh, enemies as quickly as we can, and we'll move on to the next area here. All right, and there we go. Moving on to the next area. And we got a Dark Ragna popping up. Now what I will say is I am missing some of the uh, regeneration that comes from the Phantom. Uh, doing things like this uh, in terms of the Photon Points. Uh, I am running out of Photon Points a lot faster, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how Itwell does. Um, once I do get that unlocked next week. And I think what we'll do is once we're done with Marlu here, uh, we'll actually review the uh, the gear I've got set up for that. And the reason we'll do that is I also have something else uh, kind of special that should also help with the lack of automate. But it's going to depend upon how quickly uh, attacks actually go out uh, with the Atoll. I do want to spend a few more minutes in here, though, before we take on the Dragon X, just because I do want to make sure we clear the conditions of getting the S rank. I'd rather not, you know, clear it and then not have it uh, actually uh, complete and have to come back in here. Because most of what I'm doing here right now... There really isn't uh, much reason for me to do it, except for the fact that I need to uh, get these client orders done. Uh, I'm sort of at that phase in the game whereby, being an endgame player, uh, aside from running like emergency quests and things like that, there really isn't that much that this that I can do to improve myself. Um, during downtime, essentially. I mean, I, of course I can get like uh, Masetta and such, uh, just selling items and, um, converting weapons into X-Cubes. But beyond that, there really isn't that much that's really left for me. And if anything, I'd say that's probably one of the weaknesses of Endgame in this game. Um, I mean, I've got my Lightstream weapons. The only other thing I could really do beyond that... Uh, since I did get another light stream uh, stone, is to convert one more weapon uh, into a sword. And maybe get something that would be useful for, say, one other element, but at the same time, given that the Lumen Mechs are kind of the focus of this expansion, uh, where they are weak to dark base attacks. I'm also kind of wondering if maybe I should just hold off on that for now. Unless, uh, until something else happens to pop up. Uh, we don't know what, uh, for example, Space Magatsu is going to look like uh, in terms of their weaknesses just yet. And that could end up uh, being a good thing for me to set up a Lightstream Sword that way uh, to what their weakness is. Uh, if they don't automatically become weak to, say, light elements. Or uh, weak to dark elements, which is also possible, given uh, the ultralization process.
And of course, I'm also still just wondering what else we're gonna be seeing uh, from uh, from this uh, from this uh, episode. Given everything else that's going on here, are we going to actually see things start to wrap up in terms of the story uh, with Shiva? What are we going to see um, in terms of how the arcs actually deal with her? Uh, I was thinking maybe Planet Machia could work since uh, there were um, no photons on the planet, but at the same time, I was recently informed that actually by the end of Fantasy Star Nova, that's no longer the case. So that idea is kind of out. Uh, that's not to say that maybe Grand might still exist somewhere, but uh, it that's also kind of up in the air as well. But it just lends more credence to the idea that perhaps things are going to end up with the Arcs sealing Shiva away. And when they do that, they're going to form four planets around the seal. Uh, that being the planets of the Algol system. Another Garanzaron popping down. And that's what that's kind of what I believed for a long time, that Fantasy Star Online 2 was a prequel to the Algol series. Uh, granted, uh, everything that's playing out uh, on Van Duel through uh, Idola Fantasy Star Saga that may potentially throw a monkey wrench into that whole idea. Uh, but we'll have to see. And I am in the process of acquiring um, a way to finally uh, be able to broadcast the mobile games. Uh, I am going to recondition, uh, uh, or recommission rather, uh, V4. Uh, if any of you are familiar with that uh, storyline from the... Uh, from... Um, from my YouTube channel, uh, I'm going to recommission them since they have actually stabilized after uh, I removed any Ethernet connections from the onboard Ethernet, uh, and now I'm just using a USB adapter instead for Ethernet on there. Uh, since that has stabilized now, uh, I do believe that I should be able to safely use them. Uh, as a secondary computer, which I would then feed my HDMI signal into this unit, uh, which I'm using right now. Uh, and be able to broadcast, um, Idola and Fantasy Star Online 2S through there. And part of the reason, uh, I need to do it that way is because, uh, whenever I use Bluestacks on this computer, uh, my microphone, which is a Blue Yeti Pro, which I connect via USB, uh, the audio unfortunately crackles uh, through the US, uh, through the through the connection, and that's only when I'm running Blue Stacks. I don't have it uh, as an issue any other time, as far as I'm aware. And so, feeding an HDMI and getting that offloaded off of the uh, processor of this computer should help to alleviate that issue. Alright, I think we're good on the S rank now. Let's make our way into the last area and take on the Dragon X. Uh, so that's something that should be coming in the next couple of weeks here. Uh, I basically just had to purchase uh, an HDMI cable that was long enough to be able to support that. Uh, to connect the two computers together. Uh, I do already use an Elgato uh, HD uh, Pro 60. Uh, for capture, so we're we're good on that already. <laughs> and that finishes off the Dragon X. Camp ship, we go. So let's see. Up next, we need to 
head over to the coast. So let's do that. Is that that group? Let's move on. It's always interesting trying to hunt down these leg legs and uh, when they're invisible like that. Takes care of that trial. What are the arcs doing sending all these guns down in the same place? Completed. All right, so it looks like the exit is over there. Let's make our way over. To the second area we go. Nice, it's a uh, kind of a quiet evening over here right now. I've always liked this area when uh, when it kind of had this look. Uh, once again, I am just trying to get enough kills here so that we get the S rank on this. And then after this, uh, then we just have to head over to, I believe it was the facility area? Uh, which is also on, uh, Planet Wolfhole, and then we'll uh, be good to go. Uh, in terms of, uh, the Marlu client orders. Oh, Nicole Malua. Let's, uh, let's take that out. No, actually, it's a Novin Malva, um, uh, Maladaro, which is the rare variant. Oh, he got me.
All right, down you go. Spend a little more time in this area. Let's head over here. I don't think I can reach that guy. But now I can since he teleported over. Alright, let's head for the, uh, for the exit of the area, and then we'll be able to make our way to where the Valrodus is. Wow, we're just getting all the Fantasy Star Universe characters today, aren't we? <laughs> we got Ethan and Kira, then we got Lia and Amelia, uh, or, uh, Lia and, uh, Lumia, and now we got, uh, Amelia and VVN. <laughs> That finishes off their targets. Let's get out of here. Completed. Oh, nice. We got a uh, 13 star rod from them. All right, let's do it. Gotcha that time. Let's pop our photon blast. And switch over to the Hunar form. And down goes the Balrogos. And then, there was one more that we need to do, actually. Let's just confirm. Ah, uh, yes, that was the facility area. So, let's... Really, only on hard.
I guess let's go ahead and do it on that, uh, just uh, for the sake of uh, clearing this last one quickly then. Actually, what is the bonus we got going on? Uh, Antique Grind Boost and Unit Grind Boost, okay. We're probably going to wrap around this area once or twice, just because the way that this map is set up, there is no second area. And I do want to make sure... Uh... Actually, let me double check the clear conditions again here. Uh, no, actually, we don't even have to do that. Let's just head for the exit. Uh, no, uh, no requirements for an S-Ray. Oh, you're quite welcome, Lux. Uh, I'm... I'm glad that, uh, that you ended up with that. Hey there, Ika. How you doing? Alright, so the exit cool. is over there. Attack. Let's make our way there. And... We'll take on the two bosses of this area. Completed. There we go. And... Let's see... They should go down pretty quickly, actually. Hey, no problem. Um, I hope that uh, I hope that the uh, the cocoa was uh, was good. All right, there goes one of them. There goes the second. Alright. That indeed was the clear condition. We only had to finish off the bosses. We did not have to get an S rank that time. And so with that, both Lisa and Marlu are done in terms of client orders. Uh, once the Itwell comes out, I just have to speak to them and actually hand in the client orders since we have completed the clear conditions. Now, there was one more that I wanted to get up here from Joseph. I've been hanging on to this one for a while, uh, which is the Sword Training 9, which is going to give 80,000 experience points. Now, in terms of what we can give up in order to uh, fit that in here... Uh, as we can see, there are several uh, client orders that uh, don't actually give that much in terms of experience points here. So why don't we get rid of uh, this Anushi's Agree one, since uh, they can be kind of difficult to find sometimes. And with that, we now have space to pick up the sword one from Joseph. And for that one, I just have to take out a level 60 or higher Dragon X with the sword. So at this point, let's go ahead and switch back over to the Hunter-Phantom combo. And let me get my main gear back on. There we go. Okay. So now, what I wanted to do before we proceed here is I did want to kind of go over what I've got in place for when uh, the Itoil actually comes out. Because once we get that thing leveled up, uh, they need to have appropriate gear. And what I've got in place is, I think, kind of special in terms of 
the gear that's set up. Uh, I'll take care of all this later here. Alright, so if we go under uh, weapons here, then I set this to rarity. So, ultimate chain plus 35, and ogre malice plus 35. And then I've got two wands actually that I'm looking at. First is the uh, Kuadarka orb, and then I have a second wand. Which is the Lavis Cannon plus 35. I'm not exactly sure which of the which of the wands I want to use just yet, but that's the reason I'm considering the 14 star wand instead of the 15 star uh, is because whenever you have that equipped uh, and you have the uh, the special effect on it, uh, what it does is on the third hit of an attack, it sends out a beam attack, which basically does additional damage, and I think that's going to end up being more DPS than the uh, than the Kuadarka Orb is going to do. Uh, but we'll have to see. The Kuadarka Orb, the reason I would still consider that, uh, is the fact that it is an 8-slot weapon. Um, it's got an ability plus 4 on it, plus a uh, Mark Angar, uh, which gives it a decent boost in terms of damage. Don't really have that on the Lavis Cannon. Uh, for the Orgrim Malice, to be honest, I don't know if I'm actually going to be looking too much at that weapon unless I like what the invisibility frames look like uh, on that. So right now that's just got a three slot on it. The Ultimate Chain, though, this is the one that I think I'm going to be sticking with the most in terms of the Atoil. Uh, and the reason for that is this comes with an ability, uh, once you get it grinded up, called Vampiric Blade Level 3. And what that does is whenever you attack an enemy, you recover 6% of the damage that you deal as HP. And uh, the thing of it is, is that usually that is reduced to a maximum that you can do. Not with this weapon. This weapon, whatever damage you do, it's always 6%. You, there is no limit. And I think that's why this is going to end up working for me with the Atoa. Um, why I think I'm gonna stick with the, uh, with the dual blade. And as long as the invisibility frames work out, and as long as I like the power that comes with it, I may make the switch over to the Atoil. But we kind of have to see how it actually plays at this point. Uh, that's, that's kind of the, the thing, uh, for me. If it, if it plays well, maybe I'll make the switch. If not, then I'll probably stick with the Hunter Phantom combo. Uh, Doom Dragon. Uh, yes, that is correct. Um, you do need to be of appropriate level in order for it to give you the full experience amount. Uh, but as I uh, as I showed earlier, part of the thing that's going to help with that uh, is the fact that I have all these uh, experience tickets ready to go. Uh, so that will, at the very least, get me to the point where all the client orders are actually level appropriate. Uh, that plus the tickets I have down here, where'd they go? Uh, here we go. Uh, so I have an, an additional 50 million experience points just waiting to go, essentially, here. Now, uh, aside from those, uh, weapons, I have two other weapons I'm going to be grabbing, uh, which should also be pretty useful here. The first, uh, these are both um, not as high level weapons, but that doesn't matter for the purpose I'm going to be using them for. So the first of them, if we come down here, whoops, I did not want to withdraw that. So let's see. So the first one, where are you? Here we go. The Haku Senjo version 2. So what that weapon does is 
It's not that strong in terms of it being a wand, but what it does have is it has the innate ability to cast Resta. And by having that, in addition to everything else, uh, should be able to use that uh, in terms of being able to continue to heal myself up and uh, basically not really have any worries about healing at all. Um, I mean, of course, I'm still going to have Dimates and Trimates. Uh, that will keep uh, that will be able to keep me safe uh, at least initially. Uh, but then after that, I'll be looking to use the uh, I'll be looking to use that wand. And then the second part of this, uh, if we go under rarity again, and if we come down to the jet boots. And I think it's actually on the next page. Uh, where is it? No, these are 10 star. So I think I skipped past what I was looking for. Here we go. The Selk Flots. This weapon also has an innate ability. And the Selk Flots... What it does is it has a built-in Shifta. So, with Shifta, uh, that will allow me to power myself up, essentially. Uh, and yes, I do agree, Mate Lovers is probably something I need to start looking into at this point, uh, given that um, I'm not going to have access to the, um, to the Automate anymore. Now, I think I had started one of those. Let me see here. Uh, yes, I did start one, and that is ready to upgrade to uh, level 20, actually. So why don't we go ahead and uh, put that together if we can. So, Monica. Mate lovers and... So, I can't put any attack values on this, but we can at least uh, select um, some sort of defense. So, we'll put that on the uh, striking defense. Well, that's a shame that it, uh, that it didn't grind up there. <laughs> there we go. Now, the question is, do I have all of the items I'm going to need to grind this up? Because once we get past, um, I think it's level 10... Uh, that's when it doesn't uh, grind as well anymore. Or, or not that it doesn't grind as well, but rather... Um, I need other items. No, actually I need them right now. That I need the Desert Topaz here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I clip that! <laughs> that's that, that was incredible that that happened. <laughs> Alright, so level 10, uh, now we need the Lambda Grinders. Uh, I've got plenty of Lulipa rocks, it's the uh, Desert Topaz that I'm kind of low on here, but hopefully that won't be an issue here. Just another sign I need to spend some more time gonna uh, get twice in a row. Alright, hang on. Do I have anything here? Uh no, I actually don't. All <laughs> I'm actually really surprised. I thought I had a ton of the grind success rates. Uh, but apparently I don't, so. Uh, we'll just have to keep grinding as we are. At least these rings can't level down. There we go. So, level 20, mate lovers. Uh, and I think, what, by the, uh, at this point now, the time to use a mate is half of what it was before? 
Now that was a left ring here. I uh, still need to see what the Itwa um, left ring actually is going to be. Uh, there's probably going to be one at the very least for um, expanding some of its abilities, but it's a question of which one is actually going to be appropriate. Yeah, I completely agree on that, Rooks. Uh, I think you can really only get those through, like, uh, the uh, fun scratch at this point. Uh, I'm probably going to hang on to the HP Restorate initially, but depending upon how quickly I actually refill my health, uh, I'm actually considering swapping that out uh, for a different ring. Actually, I should have left that as a false sort. Uh, switching it over to a uh, perfect keep striking instead. Uh, that's the other one I'm considering here. And the thing is that with the um, with the Atua as well, uh, one of the photon arts that I was actually surprised to see on the double saber, uh, which will be really nice to use, is they actually, uh, as far as I can tell, copied one uh, directly out of Fantasy Star Universe. Um, from uh, Fantasy Star Portable 2, actually, which was Blade Destruction, uh, whereby, basically, the Photon Art starts out by you just have a bunch of blades whirling around you, and then the second part of it is it sends you upwards into the sky. Uh, I was really surprised to see that end up on the Devil Saber and not on the Dual Sabers instead. Uh, and then, lastly, in terms of just, uh, just regular gear... Uh, for leveling up. Uh, of course, I've got plenty of uh, units here that I'll be able to use uh, until I actually do get leveled up here. Uh, these will probably be good for at least like the first 30 levels or so. Actually, let me think for a moment here. Because uh, with uh... Yeah, the... Uh... You basically need about 200 million experience points to actually get up to level 90. So, by the time I hit everything that I've got, that's going to take me to, like, level... I want to say, like, around level 60 or 70, once I use all the tickets up. So, yeah, that would actually put me pretty far along. So, I probably won't even need those, now that I think about it. Uh, the question's really going to be, am I going to be able to use things like uh, the Chevelle Ret and the Chevelle Serb? Of course, I'll be able to use the Rappy Shine from the start, because that has no requirements. Uh, these two, though, I might not be able to use until I hit level uh, 80 or so. And then, if I do switch over to using... Uh, the uh, the atoil on a regular basis, then, of course, then I have to decide if I'm going to get rid of the Hunter Gear save or if I'm going to try to get a second of these instead. Uh, and I had to get this one through the uh, Road to Atoil campaign, which is still ongoing, but is going to be ending really, really soon. But yeah, that's basically what I'm looking at in terms of gear. Uh, the last piece of all this is going to be all these tickets I've got. Um, like I said before, some of these have expired at this point, but that's no problem because what we can do... Um, and actually, I should check this now while I'm thinking about it. Let's grab five of these silvers. Because if we can take care of this right now, then I'd rather do this. Uh, rather than uh, do this once uh, once the class comes out. If we come over yes, to the Recycle okay. Shop, and we go under Recycle Shop 2, or was it Recycle Shop 1? Might have been number 1. Here we go. So, Tokyo Bonus Key. If we select all the expired ones here, and we put five of them in, we get a Tokyo Bonus Key Gold out of it. 
And I would say for the Tokyo bonus key silvers, even if you don't have them expired yet, go ahead and turn them into a gold because you're going to get more enemies out of the out of the mission. You'll I think you actually get more experience in total through a single gold than you do through five silvers. Now, if we come over here, oh, I wish I had, uh, I wish I had checked the date. Um, or rather, I wish I had put the rest of these away. Um, all right, we'll do this one with one more then. Question is, uh, do these expire after only a week, or do they expire? Uh, beyond that. And, uh, yeah. Let's do it through the menu this time. Wait, did I only take one out? Um... Okay, so recycle shop. What is going on? Did I disconnect or something and it just hasn't hit yet? Grab that, grab that, grab that. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, yeah, that is true, uh, definitely. Uh, during a boost week, uh, you can turn a, a four into a gold instead. Uh, but we just had a boost week very recently, so uh, I don't see... Uh, I don't see much reason to hang on to these right now. Uh, especially since uh, it's better to have them for the Atoa class. Here we go. Okay, so five of them turn into a gold. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I think they need to be after a certain date expired for them to be uh, converted, actually. Yeah, that, that I think we thought of that at, the, at basically the same time here. Much good. Such awesome. All right, so... These stay good for a week, so yeah, they they don't have like a full month on them, so yeah, I'm not going to convert any others at this point here, uh, because I don't want to risk that. Alright, so that being the case then, I should only be, yeah, there's only one left that I can actually convert, so in that case... And I hate to do this, but... <laughs> Into the trash. Since I can't do anything else with them. It's not like the, that, the, that the keys did much for me uh, anyways beyond that. And it was typically just silvers that I was... Uh, that I had that uh, did that. Some golds as well. Alright. Uh, let me see if I've got anything I need to pick up here. We're good there. It is time for the Idola points again, though. So while I'm looking, let's go ahead and grab these as well. So that gives me even more experience. Alright, get in there. And... <laughs> that... 
it's a little late for me to sell them at this point, but I, I see what you're saying in that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We did also get some of these solid barriers, which none of them really have much on them. I guess let's go ahead and convert some of these. Throw the rest of them in the bank. You can desynth the uh, keys? I wasn't aware of that. Alright, then, uh, let me try that real quick. Oh, not the bonus keys, gotcha. Oh, do that uh, for the solid barriers instead of... I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I do have kind of a kind of a collection in here. Nice, got a uh, great success out of that. Okay. So, let's see what we still have to do in terms of client orders here. Uh, looks like we're about two-thirds of the way through the list at this point here. And a lot of these are still just kind of getting single clears off of things. So, let's kind of get back to that at this point, but before we do that... I don't think I've ever shown my room on the, on stream before here, so why don't we take a quick minute and uh, take a look at that here. Um, I've got the piano over here, although in, in another uh, in storage I've got all the other instruments, I believe. Uh, let's see here. All that's really in here is kind of just uh, just a mishmash of different uh, different items here. the The main focus is more this. Uh, this over here, which is a green screen, basically. Uh, this is what I use to uh, create little thumbnails uh, of my character reacting to different things on the YouTube channel. Uh, I need to start doing that here on Twitch as well. And then... Just a little, uh, just a little sleeping area. Got the, uh... <laughs> got the Council of Six mat there. Yeah, a lot of this stuff you can't even get anymore. Uh, like the uh, like the Orgel over here. I believe this was a uh, reward for the um, for completing episode one. I don't know if you can do that now with um, with the current version of episode one. And the, of course, this uh, this uh, arcade unit here was uh, from the. Uh, from when we had the crossover with, um, with the Shining Force series. Alright, let's make our way back out to the gate area. Uh, now if anybody wants to join me for any of these other missions, I'm more than open to having you along. Um, first I'm gonna hit this, uh, this sword training number nine. Uh, so that'll take us into the sanctuary once again. Uh, if anybody wants to join me, uh, just say so in chat and start heading over to block ten. Uh, I am on ship two, though. Let's see, beyond that... Uh, 
some of these I could probably actually drop now that I think about it and get uh, other client orders. Uh, Hans, of course, has uh, a bunch of good ones for uh, clearing, uh, just taking out uh, various monster. Yeah, a lot of them are uh, are 30,000 experience points here, actually, so it might make more sense for me to pick some of these up. Uh, let me check one other client order giver, because I think there was one that gives an even higher experience rate. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Cressida does these. Oh, that's a good point as well. Um, they do give uh, all those... Uh, let's see. I'm guessing that's on the second. So that one is a conversion of 67, 15,000 tickets. So where's the one that you're talking about? Um... Much such, uh, or much good, such awesome. Let's see. Okay. So, there's that, and then, so if I convert, if I trade X cubes from my room, three day passes. Oh, I see here now. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that would let me. Uh, that would let me do it. And then it's one badge per hundred thousand. Okay, thank you for the uh, for the uh, for the idea. Uh, I think I've got. What do I have right now? Like 1,200 X cubes? Thirteen hundred, actually. Okay, so if I grab all these. And then we come over here to the recycle shop. That gives me 19 badges. Which in total would give me a million and nine hundred thousand experience points. So that's still not going to get me all the way, uh, but that definitely does help in terms of uh, getting experience points. And what I would say 
uh, is beyond that, though, once we kind of get up to, like, level 80 or so, once I start popping the Tokyo Gold tickets, uh, bonus tickets, I typically get around, um, 9 million experience points per run of those, so I don't think that doing that is going to be really necessary, uh, unless I'm, like, still only, like, level 70 by the time... Uh, we, uh, we actually get to that point, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. I'm, I'm expecting to be, like, level 75 or so by then, uh, by the time I've used all these tickets. The only exception to that would really be if, um, if for the Etoile, in order to get it up to past level 75, you actually do need to get the 10 class cubes, uh, for those, um, for those four skill points. That's the only way I could see that actually being necessary. Uh, and if that's the case, then I would look to convert more uh, X-Cubes. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather be using the X-Cubes for uh, rare drop rate boosts instead if I can. Because the funny thing with uh, with uh, X-Cubes is kind of once you get that snowball going, you never run out of rare drop rate boosts. Uh, as long as you're constantly doing uh, certain things. And even if I happen to run out of bonus keys... Uh, I've got a bunch of triggers I need to go through as well here. I've got these uh, Earth Destroyers triggers uh, that I could try. I've got um, triggers for uh, the Profound Darkness as well. So I'm not going to be hurting for ways to level up, essentially, here. Uh, I've still got a bunch of uh, Christmas 2018 triggers to use, as well as Chocolate and White Day, and uh, even some of, the, um, some of the Sixth Angel triggers as well. So, I'm not going to be hurting for ways to level up here. Uh, it's just getting the initial boost, essentially, that I want to uh, I want to get here. Uh, whereby, you know, I hit a level cap, um, and that wastes like 400, 500,000 experience points from a 1 million ticket, essentially. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, we gotta start using those triggers, because I think the, that emergency quest goes away in, what, like, uh, February or March, I think? I think that's when the, uh, when the deal on that runs out. Um, alright, so since nobody said anything in chat, we'll just go ahead and, uh, get some of this going here. Uh, so, Sanctum... Let me make sure I grab the right one here. Uh, what I will say is that this is a lot easier than it used to be, whereby... Yeah, Rooks, I... I agree with you there, except we did lose access to the, um... to that one trigger earlier this year from the Monster Hunter thing. Um... Do I even still have that? Yeah, here we go. Uh, so if you look at the trigger itself, it says expires February 5th, 2020. So, yeah, it, we gotta start using those up. I'm not sure I follow what you're saying. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, super hard. Is this even going to have... Yeah, that has the right level. Okay. Oh, hey, thanks for uh, joining again, Rooks. I think I get what you're saying now.
All right, so the clear condition for this client order was I just need to take out the Dragon X. So we're just making a straight run over to it. So, heading to the north, that's probably going to be where the exit is this time. I'm just gonna go TPS so I can, uh, so I don't keep auto-locking uh, auto onto other enemies. That's a Garanzaron. up with this map <laughs> it's sending us all over the place here what did I even lock onto oh something's pulling me over okay There's the exit. Let me let Rooks know if they uh, if they uh, if they're not on the stream right now. waiting for them. I'll uh, go ahead and charge this up. Alright, here we go. And there we go. All right, so next client order. I think I'll actually drop that one. Uh, let's do the Kuronite subjugation. Uh, 
And that's gonna take us over to the Kuron area. And of course, if anybody else wants to join in, of course, uh, just go ahead and uh, hop right into the group here. And also, if you are enjoying the show, just a friendly little reminder, there is that follow button up in the, uh, at the top of your screen there if you want to follow along and uh, keep up with the channel. Here we go again with the uh, <laughs> with the people from Garal. I'm kind of surprised to see him this much uh, in a single day. Since we need more uh, kills from the Kuronites, we're actually going to stick in this area. Or no, that might be it. Let me see. Nope, I still need uh, about uh, 37 more kills here. I am kind of curious uh, what we're going to find uh, in the next chapter of, um, of the story. I believe that's already been released, uh, but we're I'm still waiting for the translation to come out. From what I understand, that's in the proofreading process right now. So hopefully uh, after the toil comes out, we'll be able to look at that as well. Now we've got Itsuki from uh, the anime as well as Rina. Let's take out these enemies as quickly as we can here. And... Okay, so that's actually the end of the mission here. So uh, we're not going to be able to get anything else to pop up here. Let's head back up to the camp ship and then I'll, uh, I'll restart this here. And we'll be...
Uh, actually, we got all the kills that we need here, so we're actually good to go uh, at this point here. So, uh, let me... Uh, pop open... Actually, let's do this as an advanced quest, because I do need to do that for one of the, um, one of the Ark's missions this week. So, Sharonia? Uh, we'll do this... Yeah, why not? Let's do this as super hard. I'll take care of the payment here. And here we go. Once again, for this one, we just need 70 kills, and then we'll be good to go to head for the exit then. But they do need to be natives of the planet. These, uh, these darkers don't work for this. Unfortunately, we only seem to be seeing Darkers right now here. Alright, let's head into the second area. Hopefully we'll find more, uh, more of the Kuronites over here. So far, that's looking like a no. But, like I said, I did need to uh, complete one of these anyway for the extra Mesetta that they give. Wow, it is only Darkers here right now. It's actually kind of disappointing. Here we go. Now we got some Kronites showing up.
All right, I believe that clears the client order. Yes, indeed it does. All right. Uh, oh, we have a boss over here. Let's take it out. A false angel, huh? And that finishes you off. And we just got a PSE burst here, so uh, let's see what starts to pop up. Looks like just a bunch of darkers. Got a Christmas wrappy over here. Nothing dropped though. Burst finish. All right, not that much from that burst, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I wasn't expecting uh, it to be a huge burst with just the two of us here. Alright, Silverberg, thanks for joining today. Let's head for the exit. Here we go. Well, don't you look rare? Indeed, that is the Gunna Gam. And you can tell from uh, the way his boots have those uh, tall horns on them that he's rare. Yeah, so Buster Quest uh, will allow us to take on some demons as well as uh, potentially take care of a um, one of the uh, one of the two castle types. I don't know if we'll actually be successful with just the two of us, but uh, we'll give it a try at least. Alright, 
して結界を破壊し魔神城に接近これを撃破してください健闘を祈ります頑張ってください Looks like that's to a defense type. And I'm doing that uh, just so that uh, we can kind of slow enemies down. Here we go. Seems to be going uh, fairly well so far. We do you have these rock golems coming in? Or I guess bomber golems in this case. Alright, that takes care of that bomber golem. And that ends the defense phase. Alright, I'll grab the one on the left. Back uh, to protect the pile. Let's pop our photon blast. Get that helping out here. We're on to the attack phase. And 
I'm just gonna ignore all those. Dear, it's an accident. All right, that takes care of the demon suppression. Flight order. Alright, I think it's time we bring out the Hunar. down. Alright, time ran out there. Spend a moment collecting some uh, mana. There we go. And on to the attack phase. And onto the main body! There goes one hand! And that finishes it off. All 
All right, let's see what we got here. Just a bunch of buster metals, but that's fine. All right, what else? We're actually starting to get towards the end of all this here. Uh, the Gasolo door, we're really only going to find that, I would say, in, uh... Uh, the Castle door, I'm going to, um... I'm probably going to be dropping that one, actually. Uh, since that one is kind of random in terms of which uh, which castle you actually get during a Buster quest, so I don't really see uh, see much point in uh, trying to run that one. But we are definitely getting uh, towards the end of all this here. So for this one, uh, we're just looking for an ARCS operative that went uh, missing here out in the tundra. We'll find them in the next area after this one. Swing, thank you for the follow. Yeah, that's right. I, I do have uh, some alerts now, definitely.
There's that missing operative. Uh, Azanami, it looks like, this time. Alright, up next, let's do a run at Sanctum Suppression. Of course, the offer is still open if anybody wants to uh, join the team here um, as uh, as we're finishing up on the uh, client orders here. Uh, just look for me in the, in the party list. I am on ship two. One more target and we're done! Completed. I believe I see that back up to the north. There we go! Alright, let's make our way back up to the camp ship. is going to be Coastal Ecological Survey. Yeah, at this point, it's just a bunch of single runs that need to be done here. Um, really quick runs, actually. Let's divide and conquer if we can here.
Just another 50 points to go and we'll be done with this one. Alright, this should push us over the uh, top here. There we go. Alright, back up to the camp ship. Alright, up next, uh, let's make our way back over to the... Uh, to the tundra area. Just need to take care of a, uh, just need to do a quick boss rush here. Don't need to take care of anything else in the area. And it looks like this was a, uh, Emergency. Code. a joke Attack. path here, so... Sorry, Matoy, don't have time for you. with these uh, all these catapults for this one Heading to the north. Emergency code attack. All right, dead end there. Let's head to the east. There's the exit. some photon points back.
All right, that takes care of the snow banther. And then let's do desert exploration. And then after this one, I'm going to head back out to the lobby real quick, drop some of the client orders, and grab some new ones. And try to finish uh, the last one up in uh, just a single go here. Let's stick it to the second area, and then we'll work on the, um, on the clear. Uh, let's see here. Conditions for this are A rank or better. Okay. I don't believe we are alone here. Laya, what are you doing here again? Along with Lumia again. Might as well uh, get a little fishing done while we're here. If I remember correctly, I was starting to run a little bit low on the desert topazes. And thank you for waiting, uh, Rooks. Ah, that was a quick fever. There's some more desert topaz. Alright, out of stamina there, let's do the rest of the fishing. Uh, we used a bunch of the desert topaz earlier when we were putting together that, uh, that ring. Uh, the, uh, the quick mate ring.
All right, that's it. Let's go. Thank you again for waiting, uh, Rooks. Alright, there we go. So, I'm gonna head back out to the lobby real quick here. Now, before I pick these up, let me just see what uh, we do actually have for uh, missions today here. So, Tundra Regional Survey, Subdue Rio Maldillard, and Chaotic Darkness. So, a bunch from the facility area, then. Alright, so we'll get rid of Defeat Sino Beat. Castle Door. And a Test of Might. Just do that. And then... Let's grab this one for the floating facility. Uh, a worthy opponent. Is there anything else? Yeah, here we go. Uh, so are you, Fragments. <laughs> Which I think I've already cleared? I guess so. Um... Yeah, I've already got all those fragments, actually. Okay. Works for me. Alright, so... Let's do, uh, Subdue Rio Mudlard. Actually, in about 15 minutes, uh, I believe this is going to be the Christmas Emergency Quest coming up, so uh, we'll also be able to hop into that as well. Emergency! Code! Attack! 
Yeah, look at that. Even though I've already collected all the fragments I need and have them in the bank, they keep dropping here. I don't think I, I don't think I need to go that much uh, crazier on this. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have plenty of uh, the bonus keys available. I've got like 60 million in experience tickets already lined up. I'd say for the most part I should be good to go um, once I get these client orders done and. Like I said, the reason I did these client orders was purely um, so that when I start using those tickets, I don't, you know, end up wasting tickets. But there's also no reason not to be stacked on client orders as well going into this. Next, let's do a run of Chaotic Darkness. Uh, in this case, we've got a... It looks like a party of ten players here, so I think... Uh, Let's just uh, let's just keep up with the group here. I actually wasn't expecting to luck into this group here. I'm hoping we do see the other facility boss in here, or else we're gonna have to make a quick run at them.
Oh, there's a boss back to the north. bit over halfway done with this. Completed. Get in the out. Nice, we got the quick kill on him. That's that. Let's make our way back up. Okay, that's a good point. Um, then in that case, uh, the last of these that I need is the Tundra Regional Survey. So let's run... Well, we've only got four minutes, actually. I don't... Well, we did kind of get through the uh, other one real quick. I'll toss it on normal, just so that we're not wasting time. Yeah, we only need 100 points for this one as well, so it's not like one of the really long ones where it's like, we need 200 points. Uh, but let's definitely uh, divide and conquer on this here as well. There we go, 50 points remaining. We 
keep this rate up, we should be done in time. Three points to go. With any luck, the last we need are going to be down here. There we go. Just in time with about a minute to spare here. Alrighty, so... All that done. Uh, let's refill mates and get in position. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, this is gonna be my first run at the, uh, at the Christmas EQ, so you can, you can stay. Alright, here we go. Grab a D-brand drink, premium 2, for the extra drops. And then... I'll also grab my Vralet. And Monkey King Bar. Alright, so we have a time limit on this. And if we're wearing specific costumes, we get rare boosts. All the items will show up at the end. I'll go ahead and drop that down just in case anybody else wants to come into the party. Apparently not. Um, but really, it's recommended that anybody that's running... Uh, missions like this to do that just because you do get a rare drop boost uh, when you are uh, running uh, any mission as a party. Actually, it looks like we did get one other person. And we are headed to the west, it looks like. Uh, it's nice to see a new map this year. Uh, We'll see if uh, old man Kun uh, Deus shows up again this year, though.
Oh, that's a Decentral. The rare, uh, ultralized... Uh, Chrome Dragon. Now, for anybody that's unaware, this particular track uh, for the uh, Jingle Bell theme comes from another Sega game. Um, part of the Nights in the Dream series called Christmas Nights. Uh, it was uh, an expansion on the Sega Saturn for the original uh, Nights game. We're having to run pretty far for the next group. Oh no, they popped up uh, back up there. Okay. Mr. Umbla! Or Saint Umbla, that is. I have no idea how I avoided that hit. Boy! Omega Masquerade! <laughs> Interesting to see him out here.
Yeah, so this mission, uh, if you've never seen one of these before, it is just pure boss uh, rush here, basically. Yep, there go my boosters. <laughs> Let me refresh those. Alright, so we got about three minutes left here. And there's another boss back to the south here. Oh, there's another up to the uh, to the north there. Oh, that's an epsilon grunts. Alright, let's pop Hunar. Or Elder, rather. Ah, there's the uh, other boss I needed. Okay. Uh, so that was actually a really good call there, Rooks. You might not be able to clear this one in time. Alright, let's see what we got for drops here. That looks like uh, at least we got a rare egg there. Alright, let's get the next run going.
about 30 seconds, then we'll be into the next one here. And here we go. Takes care of the first boss, moving on. Oh wow, another popped up right back where we were. Seems like the bosses keep popping up where the last person is uh, in the line, so uh, maybe there's no point in me trying to dash forward here this time uh, for this year. We just got some regular enemies here. Ah, oh, there's a boss. Goldshredder. There's St. Umbla!
Come on, Sturm, show your weak point. Either that or let me line the two of you up. There we go. Nice. All right, moving on. All right, moving on. And there's a the descent draw. All right, about two minutes left. I'll kick on to uh, Elder again in about 40 seconds, I would say. Get that player back up. Completed. All right, Elder. got more points this time than last time. So hopefully we'll get some better drops.
Okay, a 12 star uh, leg piece there. Oh wow, that's a that's a seven uh, seven uh, slot uh, unit I just picked up. Uh, not exactly the best, although that all resist could be kind of nice. All right, let's see if we can pop this one more time. Alright, so this will be the last run uh, for the Christmas Emergency Quest. And we'll check out the spoils once we're out. Christmas Rappy! That goal should have went down pretty quick. Yeah. 
Hello, Saint Umbla. interested what kind of the origins of that character might be in Japan like if there's like some kind of a uh, yokai he's based on will be our first saint uh now here poor Niao. Uh, congrats, Rooks. Ah, Joker! I'll give us an even bigger bonus.
Alright, I'll be popping Elder in just a moment here. Yeah, let's pop it now. Alright, we got time for maybe one, but it's gonna be close. Yeah, no, not with uh, not with that much health remaining, unfortunately. Alright, so we will see what we have for our reward. Nice! I actually got uh, several special weapons there. Alright, let's make our way up to the camp ship. And with all of that... Looks like I still have uh, one more uh, client order I need to finish up, but that's, uh, that's gonna be real quick to do that. Uh, in the meantime, let's check out all the spoils we got today. Alright, I don't see anything that's a uh, 15 star, so we'll just do this normally. So, Quill Glitter, I already got one of those. The fact that it's an 8 slot, though, is kind of nice. But it doesn't really have much on it. And then it looks like we just got a bunch of fodder that uh, I can uh, break down here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Anything that is less than a six slot, I get rid of immediately. Just because most weapons uh, that... It's not that hard to get weapons up to uh, seven or eight slots. It's more the units that are hard to get up that high. Uh, in terms of units... Yeah, I actually got a few I can get rid of here. Got a bunch of all resists right there. Definitely make putting a, putting a, an all resist three onto a unit much easier. 
All right, and let's grab what we got from the campaign rewards. Chevelle Booster, Hero Crest, and Hero Crest. Again, uh, those uh, crests really don't do much for me at this point here. Uh, so we'll just get uh, we'll just get ourselves back over to the facility real quick and finish up that uh, that last client order. Actually, okay, for that one, I, I actually need to be in uh, super hard mode, actually. And, uh, Rooks, this is actually going to be the last thing, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, separate from you here. Uh, but thank you for joining. Sounds like the music's having trouble getting started here. Alright, and that's literally it for the, uh, for that client order. Let's move ourselves upstairs here. All right. So, with all that done, uh, we have 40 client orders ready to hand in at this point. And plenty of experience to go around. There's only one thing that's really left at this point. Uh, based on what I'm seeing here, and that's I, that, that's the fact I need Cyclonida horns. But for that, you can just simply go like this. And I think it was like 15 that I needed. Yeah. And now we can just go and grab the rest of these here. And so now I am basically ready to go for uh, for when uh, it comes out next week. So um, yeah, we went through the uh, through the gear I got uh, ready for this. Uh, we've got forty client orders lined up, ready to hand in for experience. And yeah, this is uh, this. I'm pretty much ready to go at this point. I don't see there being uh, really any other preparation that I need to do at this point here. So uh, that was quite the uh, quite the fun time we had here, uh, getting everything ready. Uh, took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but uh, definitely um, still very much worth it to just have all this ready to go for next week once this comes out. All right, so with all that said, uh, at this point, what I want to do, I've been going for about five hours. I want to take a quick three to five minute break here. And then once I'm back, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to transition from Fantasy Star Online 2 into Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst 
and we're going to continue on with that for a little while. So, please stand by, uh, and I will be back with you shortly here.